Hi friends, today we discuss a questions on the basis of heat input during welding. That is how much heat is required to weld two parts to each other. So friends, first of all you see my practical videos on the welding and during welding you also calculate your travel speed that means welding speed as well as time to complete this welding length. Okay. So you see clearly my practical videos and you calculate travel time as well as length. So first of all you see my practical video. Hi friends, here welding parameter that is a 294 is the ampere and 26.9 is the voltage. So how can we heat input here you see? Hey friends, you see this picture. This is a part 1 and part 2 joined to each other with welding. Now, friends, this is a welding torch. You assume this is a welding torch and these two parts are welded, welded to each other. And welder is travel speed here. Welder travel speed is like this. Welding torch move like this. Okay. And now total welding complete is 290 mm. You assume like this. And first of all, you on your stopwatch. Okay, in mobile or so many things. So first of all, you on your stopwatch and start right now your welding. And you calculated how much time taken to complete this welding. And you calculate this welding distance with the help of vernier caliper or digital vernier caliper show any things or measuring instrument okay and now also calculate here what is time taken to complete this weld length so two data is calculated here first of all welding distance that that is a 290 mm and here also you calculate time suppose your time taken to complete this is 50 second Time is 50 second and welding length is 290 mm. So what is the welding speed of welder like this is a torch and so what is the speed of welding torch. So friends you know your formula is speed equals to distance divided by time. What is the speed? Torch speed that is the travel speed of this torch. So travel speed equals to distance. What is the distance? Distance you cover this here to here. This is a distance. And what is time taken? Time taken is 50 second. In 50 second, 290 mm is completed your welding. So distance will what? 290 mm. At time equals to what? 50 second. After your calculation, you calculated here. So friends, after calculation, this second is converted into minute so like this 290 divided by mm sorry 290 mm divided by 50 and second is converted 1 by 60 minute ok now after calculation we find out 348 mm per minute that means what in one minute in one minute welding width welding length is completed 348 in one minute welder is completed 348 mm welding is completed in one minute so this is a travel speed of welder to complete this so what is the questions arises here how can you arises a questions you see below so friends you form a questions like this a welder takes 50 second you see here 50 second to complete 290 mm to complete 290 mm long weld and he said their welding machine as a current and voltage is 294 ampere and 26.9 volt respectively that means current is 
टू नाइन्टी फोर एंड वोल्टेज इज टू टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट नाइन वोल्ट एंड देन वॉट विल बी द हीट इनपुट और वॉट इज द हीट रिक्वायर्ड टू कंप्लीट दिस वेल्डिंग ज्वाइंट सो यू फाइंड आउट हियर यू कैलकुलेटेड हियर योर क्वेश्चन इज हियर एंड नाउ यू सोल्यूशन इज राइट नाउ सो फ्रेंड्स हीट इनपुट फॉर्मूला इज वोल्टेज मल्टीप्लाई एम्पियर्स मल्टीप्लाई सिक्सटी डिवाइडेड बाई ट्रेवल स्पीड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट योर वेल्डिंग इज एम एम एंड मिनट देन यू पुट हियर सो हीट इनपुट फॉर्मूला इज वॉट वोल्ट मल्टीप्लाई एम्पियर मल्टीप्लाई सिक्सटी डिवाइडेड बाई ट्रेवल स्पीड सो वॉट इज योर वोल्ट योर वोल्ट इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट नाइन सो यू पुट हियर ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट नाइन मल्टीप्लाई एम्पियर वॉट इज योर करेंट इज करेंट इज हियर टू नाइंटी फोर टू नाइंटी फोर डिवाइड बाई ट्रेवल स्पीड ट्रेवल स्पीड यू फाइंड हियर थ्री फोर्टी एट थ्री फोर्टी एट एम एम पर मिनट सो आफ्टर कैलकुलेशन यू फाइंड आउट वॉट दिस विल बिकम वन थ्री आफ्टर कैलकुलेशन यू फाइंड आउट वन थ्री सिक्स थ्री पॉइंट फाइव फाइव जूल पर एम एम एंड इफ यू फाइंड आउट किलो जूल देन डिवाइडेड यू वन थाउजेंड देन वॉट विल बिकम वन पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स वन पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स किलो जूल पर एम एम सो दिस इज योर हीट इनपुट of this particular type of questions so what is heat input is 1.36 kJ per mm that means what friends in 1 mm you see this is suppose this is a 1 mm so in 1 mm heat is required to weld this joint is 1.36 in 1 mm if you want to join these two parts then you required a minimum 1.36 kilo joule heat is required to weld together so that is a practical practical formula or practically to calculate your welding heat input in any where so thank you friends you enjoy this